Today we're going to show you the top 20 vintage squirt guns you may have laying around the house or in your garage that can be worth some good money. When you need to make a big splash, there's the Super Soaker 100. It has a powerful air pressure system. Oh, Buffy! Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to show you the top 20 selling vintage squirt guns that are out there. These are vintage water guns, squirt guns that you can find, you may still even own at this point, that sell right this moment for some really big money. Now here's a few of the older ones, some of the more unique, some of the oddball ones, some of the ones that you won't find them making today. This one here is a vintage 1960s Batman squirt gun. And where the trigger was, actually these days I doubt would be made. It has some questionable, uh, I guess, positioning of the character itself. Still goes for 100 bucks if you can find it. In the package, obviously, it can go for three or four times this price. Now here's another one in the same basic style, and this is Secret Squirrel, a very well-known Hanna-Barbera cartoon from the day in comic books and the whole works. Now this one has the same basic trigger as the Batman one, a little questionable obviously, but it's still sold for almost $350. Now here's another one tied to an animated series from the 90s, 2000 era. This is from Codename Kid Next Door, very popular cartoon back in the day. Our kids watched it. This one went for $200, looks just like one of the guns used in the TV series series itself and a drenching spray the super soaker 100 it's a water gun of a higher caliber now, back in the 1980s and 90s, a company named Laramie made a ton of vintage squirt guns. Now, most of their guns were high-powered. They had a much bigger capacity than anything else prior to these coming out. These are probably some of the first ones you will find with high capacity like this. Most of theirs will sell for hundreds of dollars as long as they are in good working condition. Most of them kept constant pressure, so even as the volume of water went down, it still held a real good amount of pressure, so it could still be used almost to the very end. Now, this one went for almost $150. They all sell for some decent money, as I said. We're going to show you just a whole bunch of different varieties of these Laramie ones that sell. Now, this is from the Super Soaker line. This is a Super Soaker 100. This one went for over 100 bucks, as you can see. Key to any of these is that they work. They don't leak. Some of these have gaskets that can be replaced also. So just because they leak, don't fret right off the bat. You can repair some of these. Now, here's the Super Soaker CP. S1000. This is one of the radical designs by the company. It held a ton of water. Some of these were fairly heavy depending on how much water they held. And this one went for over $100 also. Now here is the Super Soaker CPS 1500. Another take on it. It held more water than the last one. Some of these had disconnectable pieces so you could use it as a small gun or a large one. Some of them had add-on tanks and backpacks which we'll show you in a few minutes. Now this is the Super Soaker CPS CPS 1700. Most of them are numbered. You can find it actually right where the name is embedded into the plastic itself. This one went for 175 bucks. Again, they have to work. They have to work. Now here's a CPS 2000 Super Soaker. Again, another design, different color schemes. Now some of these models you can find in different color variations. So depending on where you lived, you might have seen a slightly different version of this exact same model. And this is a fairly scarce one also. It went for over $300. Soaker CPS 2500 looks very similar to other models. Some of the parts you can see were made from other models just combined to make a totally new one. Again, some of these offered more power, more options, or more water, so the models just kept coming out. And this one went for $139.99. Now here's the Super Soaker CPS 3200. This one came with attached backpack. There is a hose that connects it up, and you can hold a ton of water on the back. So you have a ton of time that you can be shooting this gun off here. A lot of these take batteries, as I said, so they have to work. This one went for 274 bucks. Now here's the Super Soaker CPS 4100. Another massive sized one here. A lot of them also had straps, shoulder straps, just like a real gun would have. This one went for $142. 
Again, it works. Many people have these laying in their garage right this very second and may not have a clue that they're carrying this kind of value. Your kids may have played with them 10, 20 years ago, left them in the garage, and now they're just sitting there gathering dust. Bottom of a closet, under a bed, in the basement. Who knows, but these are out there and they can be found and they are worth money as you see. The one and only super soap of the fires. One, two, three, see the water at once. Rotating nozzles let you hit the top. To the left, to the right, to the middle, and everything in between. Any questions? Hey, Sarge, what's three times three? Any great? The new Lively Super Soaker XP85 Trip Shop. Well, it's better! Now here's a super soaker power pack. This one's meant to, again, mount on your back and carry a ton of extra water. Plugs in with many of the other models, so some of them you could attach other things to. Now this one went for just over $200 because it has the box and all the accessories with it. Now there were many other companies that made squirt guns also. This is by Entertech, a very well-known company back in the day for their Uzis and machine gun style ones here. This one went for almost $200. Many of them were in fancy colors like this, but some were very realistic, something you could not do this day. Now here's another one. This is a ZX2000 Ultimate Water Gun, and this one again has a backpack with it. This one has the box. 140 bucks. Now, obviously, with the box, they will sell for some more money. But as long as they work, you can still get decent money, as you see here. Now, Laramie also made ones that looked like real guns. This is an Uzi by Laramie. This one went for $127 and some change. Other companies mimicked this exact same pattern also. Some of them were battery-powered. Others were just regular squirt guns. Now, here's another one by Entertech. This was made to look like a 45 Auto, I would say. This one went for over $100 and it is sealed. A lot of these sorts you can find in clearance sections and bins still to this day because they just look like a cheap gun. You might see a big bulk lot of vintage junk toys at a sale or something and you could run across these garage sales flea markets all of these sorts of things will show up at those places now if you stick around to the very end i have a couple bonus ones to show you some very unique and oddball squirt gun related items now this one here is another super soaker. This is the Monster XL. This is just a very large, massive piece. Now most of these also were very expensive when they were new. Still like this in this NOS condition here. This one went for almost $500. Again, the box, it's never been touched. So chances are it's an immaculate condition, fully working order. Now this is a box version of the CPS 1000. Well over $200, again, NOS new, just the way you would have yanked it off the shelf to buy when you were a kid. Now here is Radio Shack's version of that same Uzi we've been showing you here. 150 bucks box. This is a lesser quality, I would say, from the ones I have seen, but still highly collectible, well sought after. Now if you plan on selling any of these, remember that they have to have a red tip on them if they look realistic like this one here. Squirt guns, water guns, they all sell for some decent money. If you hang around to after the credits here, I'm going to show you just a couple more bonus things to look for. The Defender with pump action, up to 25 feet of firing power, and water clip for fast loading. And now the water grenade set. Pump them up and let them fly. The look, the feel, the sound, so real. Entertain. Well, there you have it. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. Now here's a very questionable squirt gun back from the 60s tied to the Munsters TV show. This is the Hypo Squirt Water Gun. It's made to look like a hypodermic needle, something you would not make these days. 
Uh, it literally looks just like the real thing. So I could imagine this getting mixed up with a real hypodermic needle. Obviously, there's no metal needle tip on the end, but still, these are highly sought after. Most people wouldn't have a clue and would discard these, not even knowing they were a toy. One reason why this loose piece here sold for $224 and some change. And lastly, advertising of most any type that's vintage tied to squirt guns can also go for some good money. This is a catalog from the 60s and it sold for over 50 bucks. It advertises a ton of different varieties of squirt guns throughout it, various styles. It even shows displays of some very odd and unique squirt guns, hence the value. I'm Super Soaker XP 70, 40, and 20. Where is 